fuck with us Well, we post it every Friday every See Friday. them corn emojis, then you know a nigga wildin' I'm a jaded Gemini It's actually a highlight, too This was so disappointing Like, honestly, I'm not laughing Because this is serious as fuck Like, but <laughs> I'm just laughing. in disbelief That he dead ass, like not only did he get it, but how he moved about it was very telling. And I was not expecting mean? that. Like, I don't know, because he always has so many different experts on his show, like doctors, like. Yeah, I get, yes. You know, like, and doctors. I'm not, but I'm not a Joe crazy, bro, uh, you know, cause, crazy, right, because he but... also has, um. Radical. Radical, there we go. Radical. Not traditional voices and that's not a problem bro because you want to have a good balance yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah. get a good type of grasp on the world that's why i used to love watching his podcast because one day wiz khalifa will be on that bitch. right she like shoot kanye was on there that kid, bro exactly e the famous elon musk interview smoked a blunt like, yeah so it's like like i'm 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 not a joe a bro, bro. that's what i'm saying i'm not a joe bro but i i was very shocked to see how he handled not only getting c19 but like that he disclosed to his huge audience how he personally went about treating himself we've always said on our channel about the the jab and like bovid and the panoramic that we personally <laughs> feel like it's a personal choice and you don't have to like say what you do when you have a platform because like it could inadvertently influence and like if somebody does what you do and you're not a medical professional and you're just telling people what to do like that can come back on you so to see somebody with millions of viewers say that they were like taking certain medication and like different i don't know i just feel like that was irresponsible the medication I just feel itself like that was is the it's always got to be some type of crux that has a a debatable talking point yeah and that's what it is is the medication itself because everybody on one side is saying oh this he, this dude is an idiot he's telling his people to take this horse medicine yeah what the hell's going on right and then on the other side, they're like, y'all, they used to take this medicine back in the day. People won Nobel Peace Prizes for this medicine back in the day. It treated malaria. They took it in the 70s type, you know what I mean? But it's like, yo, you shouldn't be giving anybody any type of medical advice inadvertently. Right. Especially on something where it's very clear that yes although there may be some history that we used this drug before we used to give heroin for headaches back right in the day, bro. right that's not we saying have we cocaine like, in coca-cola like fuck, you ever play red dead redemption not yeah really, bro, there's, no. oh you take some snake oil like come on bro it's 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 medicine it evolves I don't know. And most people are not going to be able to get their hands on what the hell Joe Rogan took regardless. Right. So when he name drops something, I think that's why they're bringing up the horse medicine because they know that's the only place where that drug is in big supply mm. is for horses, which is not Yeah, good. it's a horse dewormer. That's what it is. Um, is. I'm going to show you guys Strength. the video of his Instagram video of him talking about this. The, they're showing snippets of this on the news, but they're not showing him just freely talking. And I finally found a clip where he's just talking so we can hear whatever the hell he got to say. No cuts. No cuts. And so I got back from the road Saturday night feeling very weary, I had a headache, and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, he was in Florida. I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house, and throughout the night, I got fevers and oh, sweats, God. and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. 
So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh, prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a Okay, I don't know about y'all, but when I just go in my cabinet, I got Tylenol, melatonin, ibuprofen. I don't have this shit lying around. Like, bouncing off of what you said earlier, people trying to justify any shit couldn't even get their hands on what he's even talking about. Bro, like, I have, you, as you like, know, what the hell? and I, I mean, we've been be kind of beating around the bush on this, but I mean, I feel like it's important and... I'll be very vague, but I have somebody in my family fighting for their life right now about this type shit. Right. You know what I mean? And I I say that to say it's not uncommon for people to have an abundance of things to take. Like, he named a lot of other things that are quite uh, normal for people to have around sometimes, especially if you know a medical professional, Right. I guess. When I worked at the rehab, we used to give people stuff like z packs and stuff, but like ivermectin is something most commonly, like they say, found <laughs> at, at where uh, Beth on Rick and Morty work with, on the horses. You yeah. feel me? That's just plain simple. Now, you can play all you want with this. Uh, he also said he just knew what was going on he got the chills he never like expressly said he got the test to see if he had covid right yet so i mean we we got to no, he said to he that. got tested he got tested yeah he said he got sure. tested the day he said he got tested the day after when he when he had that night with all the fever and shit someone in the chat said he still looks sick right here i mean he looks high kind of to me but i mean he kind of looks he doesn't too. look like you know, vitamin yeah, like, drip, and I did that three days in <laughs> a row, and so here we are on Wednesday, and I feel great. I really only had one bad day. Sunday sucked, but Monday was better. Tuesday felt better than Monday, and today I feel good. I actually feel pretty fucking good. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is we have to move Friday, the Friday show in Nashville. Uh, it's going to move to Sunday, October 24th. So that Well, that's good. He moved it way ahead instead of trying to do yeah. it like next week or some shit like that. Because, but you still got that shit. You could sit here and try to act like you feel better or whatever. Every time I see people that, even people that are vaccinated, like, will be good. And then out of nowhere, will be like, yeah, I needed to go to the hospital. Like, I just woke up the next day and I needed, like, like, bro, you never know. That's why I feel like, yeah, <laughs> let your supporters and let your fans know. I wouldn't say hide it, but you got to be really responsible of how you break the news and, like, how you... Because this is too much. I get this is too being much. hesitant of the vaccines, but I always said I would get it when it got FDA approved, whatever. But motherfucking... I don't see how people are more hesitant than even a rush vaccine on humans. You're going to take some shit that's on, that we're not using anywhere anymore like that unless it's for horses, my nigga. Right. Come on, bro. And you know the borderline shit. That's that motherfucking... You already know what type of time that's on. Low key. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's just disappointing. It'll be the new national date. My apologies to everyone. Obviously, there's nothing that I can control. Um, it is what it is. Crazy times we're living in. Uh, but a wonderful, heartfelt thank you to Modern Medicine for pulling me out of this so right. quickly and easily. And uh, my love to all of you. Thank you. Bye. I wonder, Brad. Let's I wonder. not start sucking it. You know what I'm saying? No, for real. I, I, I pray that he stays oh, good. Joe. I really do Joe, because, Joe, like Joe. you said, bro, my people's was like you said, oh, I'm good again. And then it's yeah, kind of like. It goes like that. Especially when you're older, bro. Like he's Joe, very healthy, though. My dude's very healthy. But Joe he's is been swollen. On some real, real Joe. spicy stuff lately. <laughs> spicy oh, Joe. Oh, my Lord. Spicy Get well, Joe. Joe. Get well, Stay Joe. well, man. Stay well. Damn. I don't. 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 I don't.
I need a I need a mentor. Bro, you, you should be bringing stuff mentor? to the table. What? Hundred thousand. You got stuff to bring to the table. Like, what are you doing? This hey. is a mess. I, I'm 22 years old. I'm just trying. I, I can't be a mentor right now, right? In my life, I'm a fuck up myself. I need a mentor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need connections. You need people to be around you. Right? right now, I didn't have connections with people. Right? I have Jake. That's it, yo. Probably get people to be friends. I don't. Bruh.